In terms of the sales process, how long on average does it take us to sell a company from start to finish? Typically about nine months. Uh, we've done them as quickly as six months, but that's when everything's going perfectly. Uh, most of them don't go perfectly, uh, so on average about nine months. Um, and in terms of the, your time commitment, uh, it's really in the very beginning, the first thing that our clients get when they sign up from us is a list of 45 questions. The more we know about your business, the more compelling we can make the marketing materials. So you answer 45 questions, we have a follow-up conference call just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, so that's your time commitment initially. And then you're approving the buyer database that we come up with. You're approving everything that we do. Uh, you approve the book, you approve the video, you approve the one-page summary, you approve the ads. Um, so that process, to put all the materials together, probably takes uh, a month to two months. Okay? Then we're getting it out into the market, um, where uh, screening potential buyers, uh, making sure that uh, we get a sense of them, that they seem to be for real. They're signing confidentiality agreements, we're sending them out books. So that whole process takes another month or two. Then, and typically we get about 40 to 50 interested qualified buyers. So all the marketing that we do, all the mailings, uh, all the phone calls, all the advertising, it gets boiled down to about 40 to 50 interested qualified buyers. From that point, one of our deal makers is uh, speaking with the uh, interested buyers, answering any questions they have. If they seem to be real and a good fit, they're setting up conference calls with you, right? That's your time commitment now is uh, doing these conference calls, and they're probably each about an hour to an hour and a half, depending. Um, and answer, you know, getting, getting comfortable with one another. If that call goes really well, and we get an indication of interest that really is in your value range, uh, then we like to go right to a meeting. Okay? So it's the conference calls, it's the meetings, then we get letters of interest, we get uh, you know, everything spelled out, we try to get as detailed letters of interest as possible from the buyers. Uh, and then we negotiate them, right? And we try to get you the best one. We try to play them off against each other in a nice way. Uh, we don't want to make these buyers feel like they're pieces of meat. Uh, you have to do it classy and in a nice way. Once you've decided to uh, go down the road with a buyer, uh, we need to do due diligence on them if it's somebody that we don't know or you don't know, right? Is that because before you sign that LOI, you have the leverage, we have the leverage, because we're still marketing your business. Once you sign the LOI, we really can't market it. You know, we have to give them time to do their due diligence. So if it's a buyer, we don't know, you don't know, we'll do some due diligence on the buyer. Due diligence, typically anywhere between 30, 60, 90 days, 60 days usually for due diligence. Uh, integration planning, and then it's the lawyers. The lawyers are negotiating documents, uh, and then we close.